It's Friday, October 25th, for reals this time, and it's time for your weekly recap. I'm gonna say congratulations to the person who won the Terry Wrinkle Noggin tie. To find out if you won, go ahead and check out the Magic Geek blog right now. And to find out what we're giving away this week, keep watching right here on the weekly recap. Sean from Twitter, what situations do you think tricks that have long stories to go with them work best in? Those types of tricks work the best in a situation where there is very little distraction. If people are seated, facing towards you and there's not a whole lot of other stuff going on, that's when those storylines are gonna work the best. Nate D, hey Chris, how did you come up with Terry Wrinkle Noggin? The Geek Report was actually going to have a completely different look to it. I had a completely different cheesy news anchor character in mind, but uh, my coworker encouraged me to put on the mustache and I put on the mustache and then I put on the wig and he just sort of morphed. I looked at myself in the mirror and that was what came out of my mouth. So Terry Wrinkle Noggin is a result of the costuming. I'm very excited because this week we have a brand new show that we're starting out. It is a new way to review products for you and it's all about you guys and your questions. It's called The Review Show and what we're going to do is take all the new magic that comes in and ask you what you want to know about it. And if you already have the product, what do you think about it? Leave your comments on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, and we will use those comments in the actual review show. This is our way of making sure that you're getting the information that you want to hear about. This show all depends on you guys, so please leave your comments and questions on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube when we ask you what you want to know about certain products. Noah from Twitter, hey Chris, what is a good way to distract the audience while performing a lot of slights? Thanks. I think the best way to distract an audience is to ask them about themselves. People like talking about themselves. So if you can engage them in conversation and schmooze with them a little bit, then they are going to be way more distracted, look you in the eye, and you'll be able to get away with more stuff. Frederick from Twitter, how do you deliver your magic so it doesn't scripted because I stutter when I do my tricks. Thanks. Hashtag weekly recap. Knowing your magic extremely well and knowing your scripting extremely well can really help you with the flow of your magic when you're performing. I also recommend performing as frequently as you possibly can. The more you perform, the more comfortable you're going to be performing and the more you're going to get experience on how to deal with situations where you might otherwise be nervous. Kevin from Facebook has some good advice. I know from experience it doesn't happen overnight. First you have to become very proficient with the basic routine. So much you are sick of it. Then add patter. I think Calm that- down, settle uh -huh. down. Terry Wrinkle Noggin's here. Um, Better late than never. Hi Terry, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here to answer the questions for the fans. I, actually, uh, nobody asked you any questions, That's, so we thought we'd just surprise me because I mean, you asked them to ask questions. And all right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Uh, Awkward. Go back to my sunbathing. Andrew from Twitter, how do you come up with jokes or a script for a certain trick? This is another situation where I recommend performing a lot. The more you perform, the more your audience is gonna feed you lines, and the more you're going to be able to come up with stories that work better. Try new things every time you go out there and see which scripting works best with the trick that you're, you're stumped on. I have two tricks that I wanna highlight for you this week. One is the vanishing pen. Uh, you've probably heard a lot about this if you follow us on YouTube. This is a fantastic trick because it is visual, it uses an everyday object, it happens in the spectator's hand. It's easy to carry around, has an instant reset. Just tons of stuff going for it. So highly recommend you check out The Vanishing Pen by Sans Minds. Also, Gate and Bloom's Intercessor is a fantastic gimmick. I highly recommend you check this one out. There's gonna be a review of it up soon, so check this out. Very, very cool way to get a card that is uh, torn and marked by the spectator to end up anywhere you want. You can destroy the card and have it appear anywhere. It's really, really cool. Lots of great routine ideas in this DVD and a very, very well-made gimmick is included. Matthew from YouTube, do you come up with gags and jokes from experience, watching other magicians, or just being straight up funny? Also, how do you come up with gags and jokes? Thanks. I think experience is the most crucial thing for coming up with jokes. Both experience in performing magic and experience in taking in what is funny. So watching stand-up comedy or funny shows can help you understand character and situations which will result in funny jokes. I highly recommend taking some improv classes and getting your hands on as much material as you can for how 
things can be structured to be funny. Jay Randall 232 Hey Chris, how would you go about making a joke and no one laughing? What do you say or do in that situation? Big smiley face! Because of my character, I always just point out that the joke didn't work and I sort of pound it into the ground. That usually ends up getting a laugh in the end. Hey, we've got a whole bunch of these custom bicycle and house of playing card decks of cards and I thought we'd give a whole bunch of them away this week. So here's how you're going to do that. We've got a coupon code set up for 5%. Coupon code is CUSTOM. If you use that coupon code, you're going to get 5% off your order. And if you use the coupon and spend over $50, you're going to get a free deck of custom playing cards. How's about it? Well, that's all the time we have for this weekly recap. I want to thank you very much for watching. Be sure to tune in next week when we're going to be talking about gimmicks. So if you have questions or comments on gimmicks, please leave them in the comment section down below here on YouTube, also on Twitter or Facebook or the Magic Geek blog. And we're posting new videos every single day of the week, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on new reviews, new Magic demos, and weekly recaps. Also, we'll throw in a couple silly videos in there too. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.